So, uh, in the club shop, um, joining us today, Matt, who's, um, what's your official title now, Matt? I am retail manager. Yeah, I love that title. So, um, we're in the club shop today, and we thought we'd go through a little bit of what we, what we have. There's loads of stuff in here, it's really impressive. And um, we go online today, so we thought, what, what better to do than to show you what we've got. So, Matt, go away. Okay, so, as everyone's seen, this has now all been released uh, with the, the videos from the club. So, you've got your away kit here. What size these go? These are really so these small, go, aren't they? Yeah, from 0 to 6 months, all the way up to 6XL with every size in between. Um, we used to go 3XL, 5XL, so we try. I, I just thought that was a bit discriminatory for certain sizes. So last year with the third kit, we went all the way up to 6XL and we put in the 4XL as well. Um, and with the third kit, those sizes have sold out already, so there's definitely a market for them, so we, we increased that. Um, this year so they're 48 for adults then you've got the intermediate extra small size um, which is 37 kids are 26 and then you've got the infant size which is three to four years and below um, and that's at 20 pounds so that's a reduction from last last and these time. are brilliant kits and also really I noticed nice. the old blue the old blue lining and stuff like that it's really I have to say if, if, you know from up close, it's really, yeah, really the, impressive. The amount of work that Jonesy put into this Definitely. has been um, phenomenal, and, and you can see the results for yourself. Like the, the feedback we've had on this kit has been unbelievable, and luckily we did order a lot um, because obviously we were hoping that our fan base was going to increase as well. Yeah. Um, so there is th th there have been a lot of people saying, "Oh, I better get down there on day one. I don't want it to sell out. It's not going to sell out in, in, in a week." So yeah. people don't have to, to worry too much about that. Plus, we've got the opportunity this year uh, to reorder if certain sizes we can see are selling really well early on. Um, it's, a, it's a bit difficult because you've only got until like October, um, November to put that order in. But yep. at least we can see trends early on and then maybe take a, uh, take a view on that. Definitely. So this home kit is... <coughs> I love it. And um, Jonesy, we interviewed Jonesy actually, and um, he went through the detail of it. And it's only when you realise the actual detail went into yeah. it is amazing. So these are the home tops. Um, again, obviously, same prices, I'm assuming. Yeah. Um, uh, for people who are looking to come in um, or order online, we've had a few problems with sizes being delivered from Humor. They've missed a few out, and, I, and I'll tell you those as we go along. Yeah. So at the moment, we don't have that 4XL and 6XL in the home kit. We're expecting that in the next few days, um, but we'll put a message out when they come in uh, just to let everyone know that the full range of sizes is there. Okay. Um, a big shout out to Rocket who needed five um, home shirts in size small and so did Tights decided out of the two boxes, <laughs> one with 35 in and one with 10 in, to take the box with 35 in. So we're now <laughs> currently out of small until Rocket gets in here later today. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Uh, don't worry, I gave them a lot of abuse about it. Well, they got our first win as well, let's be fair. Exactly, so that's, yeah. um, that was good last night. <laughs> so the walkout jackets, which I bought one of myself, I bought my son one, I love these. Um, yeah, they're a bit marmite because people, some people were vomiting on Facebook when they saw these. <laughs> um, but it's, it's, a, it's a basically the same um, kind of top that, that Man City wore last year, yep. um, obviously with our colourways on it. You don't get to design these from scratch. This isn't like the, yeah. like the Home and the UA kit. Um, you get to pick a design and then put your own kind of colour spin on it. Um, so I hope, I hope they go well. We've, we've kept the price really low for kids on this. So they're £50 for adults, but they're £30 for kids' yeah. sizes um, because we want everyone to be wearing the colours this year. And we, we think we're, we're kind of thinking we'll have maybe... A one and a half increase, one and a half times increase in adult fans, but then like a, a doubling of, of kid fans. So we're, we're, we're trying to accommodate them. With yeah. This. And do you know what I found really interesting? I don't know if George want to show you this, but they've got zips on. I know it sounds silly, but I always lose things out of my pocket sometimes. So they do have zips as well. So it's a really, you know, if you want to come into football, I don't know about you, I sometimes get hoodies and they've got things and I mm. lose things and stuff like that. Maybe that's just me, I'm just stupid. But No, uh, no, no, <laughs> I can definitely relate to that. So um, there's so much more in the shop as well. So over here. So we got some, um, the first bits of leisure wear coming in. Um, so this is the O'Neill Polo. Um, it's from the regular suppliers that we get polos from. It's quite um, a lighter material as well. Yeah, it's, it? it's nice. That's priced at £25. That's for adults. Then we've got our... Riley jacket, um, which is 
quite smart. That's retailing at uh, 40 pounds. We've tried to keep that, the price on that quite low as well. Um, we've gone quite big on ladies wear because obviously when this was all starting, I had this big spreadsheet of, of stuff I wanted to order and I, I'm, it's a big shop at, at Plough Lane. So we knew that we, we had to get plenty of stuff in. Obviously now we're suffering with that yep. because we're in a small space and we've got all this stuff coming in for the big shop. So it's kind of deciding what we can put out. All of our stuff that we've got in is not out. Um, unfortunately, you, if you pan around, you'll see that the, the Royal Resurrection stuff is not up anymore. We're looking at solutions to try and get that back in, maybe moving back a bit, but um, because eventually these guys at the back will be moving into Plough Lane, into offices there. So then we can possibly get a bit more in. Yep. But I can show you a couple of bits of the, the ladies wear. So we've got a ladies fit polo that is retailing at, at 20 pounds. We've got a ladies fit t-shirt and that's at 15. And then if we take a walk over here, we've got a ladies fit hoodie as well. And that is retailing at 35 pounds. They're nice, aren't they? They are. We've. I'm just. We. We. Um, I had. So I, I sit with a lot of females when I go to football and we go to away games with them as well, and they're they're now a big big part of our our lives. So I got a group of them involved in in picking and what they would buy and what they wouldn't buy. So at least I'm guaranteed a few customers now. I think that's really good actually in terms of feedback. So I know I know you well, so you don't mind feedback at all, do you? In terms no, of, no, no. I think it's really important. Um, that the feedback and it's great that the lady stuff now has got stuff because obviously they're, they're different fits aren't they yeah absolutely you know, and that's the side of it so no it's really good um on the casual side for men uh we've done the jacket and we've done the polo over there we've also got a brand new hoodie yeah i, um, I like that too much yeah that's gonna <laughs> <laughs> how dare you i like it too much and again it zips i know i'm really, I know I'm really sort of like on zips but again it's just like yeah that's i really like that i really do 40 pounds, so that's a reduction on the Puma one from last year as well. Yeah. Um, and we kind of gone low on quantities, but with the, with the ability to reorder and get them back in stock within two or three weeks. Yeah. So uh, we've just gone on 50s on, on these kind of things okay. in the leisure wear at the moment. We'll see how they sell. Uh, obviously money is tight at the moment. And um, one thing that I went through with Joe earlier was we, need, we don't want to be buying stuff at really low prices but buying too much of it for it to last like two or three years we need to be getting our money back and our yeah. profit within a year so that's why we've got lower quantities on on everything and it, it may mean that we don't maybe make the the margins we were before but they're still very healthy margins and it will it will do a job for the club yeah and it's obviously difficult for you isn't it because obviously no one expected covid i'm not going to say that unprecedented word just the unprecedented word um so um it's difficult to know because obviously we're going to move into Plough Lane. Yeah. So we're obviously expecting more fans in there, maybe more families. It must be a, it's going to be a challenge for you to, yeah, it's, to it's, get an idea of it, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite, quite a lot of pressure because <laughs> I don't want to, I've, like I've said on, on the podcast, I've made quite big mistakes before. Um, the biggest one is the, the when I bought that luggage so that the holdalls and, and the, the, the boot bags, we've still got a lot of those left. Yeah. Um, but I was thinking of trying to get the best price and that the, the minimum order for those was 360 of each. Okay. And the big mistake I made there, which Joe corrected me on, was believing that that's their minimum order. It's not. <laughs> all these suppliers. In business, isn't all it? All <laughs> these suppliers, you go back to them and say, that's your minimum order. Right, I want half of that. What's your price? And then as I've been discovering the last few months, they'll come back and go, oh, it's going to go up 15p. And you're like, that's nothing. Yeah. So It's like yeah. a poker face, isn't it? Yeah, way, absolutely. Bit absolutely. You have, to, yeah, you have to go back. <laughs> and uh, So I was way too trusting, but now I'm uh, a bit hardened to all that. So, so we've still got the same away kit. Like so this is the first trip this season, isn't it? So it's still going to be yep. the third. It's going, the first trip now. it's going to be the only thing we have with the, the old badge on. Yep. Um, it's funny, I was speaking to Ivy yesterday and he said, this looks this is starting to look really dated already. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I think the new badge is, is really, is. really smart. I like it that. is. Nice and compact. It's, it's one of my favourite away first, first kits anyway, so there's still, mm. still quite a few. Oh yeah, yeah, still selling very well. Cool, so this is the training kit, which obviously came out about a month ago now. Yep. Yeah, um, yep. we've, got our, we've got our quarter zip. Um, so this is kind of replacing a tracksuit top. There's no tracksuit top this year, so the players will be wearing that and tracksuit bottoms. Which is dry cells, I'm assuming that's their... 
Yeah, it's just the um, so the absorbent yep. nature of it and keep you cool, etc. It's got a light as well, isn't it? It will keep you warm at the same time. Yeah, that's really nice. It's got a lovely little like waffled um, texture to it this year as well, which I really, really like. Yeah. Um, okay. So we've got them uh, three XL all the way down to five to six. We've got this is what is the Puma call their stadium um, match day stadium jersey. So. This is what the players will be kind of warming up in. So we, we previously called it a warm-up tee or, or, or what you want to call. I just like to keep things simple. So all of these three, I'm just calling training tees. Yep. Um, training tee blue, black and white. So these are the actual ones that the players wear for training. Okay. Um, and these are the ones that the management will wear on a match day. You have to make a choice so that people might have noticed um, that, that Glynn wears a different colourway. That's because that's for management. So... What they'll do is they'll have a t-shirt and they'll have two different colorways for each one it's kind of so this is um training tee for players and then you'll see the gray here with the black here the reverse, okay. for the management yeah, yeah. um and then it's it's always the way like you you kind of see drawings of stuff and you make a decision and then I see Glyn wearing that, and I see the you know some of the other management wearing that and I go oh that's lovely I did see that um, yeah, yeah. I'm, all, I'm the same on that uh so we, we will have the option if enough people um, say they want to have that, maybe we can get a really low amount of that in. Yeah. Because we've got the option of reordering training wear as we go um, this season, depending on whether Puma have got stock. So, so these are all, so a whole lot of these are 33, aren't they? They're so 33. 33 um, so, and they go all the way down to five to six as well. Um, kids are 25 in those. We've had to increase the um, adult price because Puma have increased their prices. Um, but we've tried to keep the, the kids as low as possible. They're good value. I love the white. I just get yeah. dirty. I can't, I can't miss my mouth. Yeah. We've, yeah. <laughs> um, the polos, again, so um, I can't even remember which way around they are, but this is players and management, so this is both, both yep. styles in there. Um, and they're a different material this year. So, so, so last year you had almost like the training top material on. This is like a more yeah. standard polo, a bit heavier. Yeah. Um, I much prefer it like that, but um, just to warm people. Um, what else okay. can we show? I can show you the carnage out the back. Yeah, let's go for that. So we've got so, a new till as well, haven't we? Yeah, we've got a new till new system. Till. Very fancy. So George knows um, how to work it now. George is obviously doing the camera work, but um, yeah. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, so the, it's very tight around pe here. People who know me know that I like things very, very organised. Boxes stacked, labelled. Um, this is what we're working with at the moment. Um, we've got our printer here, our franking machine here, um, currently franking a croissant by the looks of it. <laughs> um, and then my office through here, which is like a little cupboard. Um, so it's, it's challenging at the moment because especially when it comes to mail order, we're going to need space. I like to have space to lay everything out and do it properly. And, um, so we're still working on how, how we're going to do that. But, yep. um, so we'll get ourselves out of here and then we can, so we go, obviously we go live later today um yeah the, the new, online so what's the in new, store for them the new online shop um i have to be careful like what, what i say about the old one but it was a, a massive challenge to work with um it wasn't like a normal online shop and the thing you can filter stuff you're only allowed one image per item you can yes. only put an item in one category things like that so this what we've got launching today is a shopify shop um and it's it's beautiful it's beautifully laid out it's simple you can filter you can all the things i've just said you can't do you can do just like a regular online shop yeah now. um so that is launching around lunchtime um obviously it's very nerve-wracking it's like is the teal system going to work <laughs> properly you can test it as much as you like yeah. but then on day one if something goes wrong um it's it's not a pleasant feeling, so yeah. um, a little bit nervous about that, but I'm, I'm hoping it's going to go really well, because especially with the, the new shirts um, and the really nice training wear, and we've got the new casual stuff in as well, I'm expecting it to be very, very busy. Yeah, so. and I think it's worth pointing out, you know, I, I, I've been talking to Matt for quite a while, and it's probably the most challenging time ever, I think, to have a new stadium, have a new shop, have a new till, have a new online system. I think it's, it's a very challenging it's, it's time. A, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot to do with... Um, the C word, the COVID word, I say the C yeah, word. Yeah, I know. We'll take that the wrong way. <laughs> um, so it's, you've basically got these huge projects and you kind of map them out, right? February, March, April, and then COVID comes along, everything stops. It was the same with me ordering stock. I'm in the middle of doing it all. 
and then everything factory shut down, yep. the, the people we use shutting down the intermediaries. Um, so it's now we're playing catch up. Yep. Um, so there's not a massive amount in here, but we've got things going online that we can't even fit out here. So water bottles and things like that. We've got a lovely new metal water bottle that are quite popular at the moment. Yep. So, um, so everything kind of went from planning it month by month by month to all being squashed into a, a very short time period. So there's a lot going on at the yeah. same time. Yeah. And obviously, as, as with, with the season tickets, you could see that when something goes wrong, um, it, it can make you look a bit incompetent, but it's, it's not that. It's just that you've had to do so much yeah. in, in a short space of time. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, we're just crossing our fingers. Uh, we've tested it a load. Um, we're just doing the final uh, bits of work this morning on it to make sure the stock numbers are absolutely accurate. Um, and then we're going to have a very, very busy few days. So that's the shop. Um, it's really impressive. And of course, this is a temporary one until we move to Plough Lane, which can be even better. Um, but yeah, online sales, I'll put the, the web link and stuff like that in there. But um, feel really great. It's some really love stuff. So um, use your online system and um, look forward to your new gear arriving soon.